they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots in the frown. Can't hop out, then we clearing the crowd. What's up, guys? We're in a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today, we have a special guest. Went to the brat. If you fuck with him, you get shot. Don't get going at you when I'm spending that fun. They go on cheese, that cause he caught him at hash. I don't see how these seconds he caught him at hash. You ain't touch me, don't call me out. I can't fuck with nobody who not my plus. Hey, y'all. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a little icebreaker to, to warm you up. So I'm going to ask you a question. Just answer as fast as you can. Mm -hmm. First thing to come to mind. Describe one word in New York. Describe New York in one word. Fuck. Um, crazy. Okay, one sentence for your ex. Suck my dick. Last song you listened to? Little Baby. Um, something. It's like, fuck, I don't even know. It's some shit. It's fire, though. Okay. Last thing you spent money on? <clears throat> Weed. Worst song ever? Mine? No, anybody. Who got the worst song ever? I don't even know. The op bitches. Okay. Okay, which rapper would you not let date your daughter if you had one? Lil Baby. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Most underrated. Who's the most underrated artist? Damn. I don't even know. Um, Who slept on? Who's underrated? Me. Okay. Celebrity crush? Chris Brown. Okay, um, what's one one hit wonder that you like? One one hit song that you like? Mm. Damn, I don't know. Maybe one song that you like. Who's the one hit wonder that you like? One hit wonder though, like I don't know. Yeah, they had a banger and they just fell off. I have no clue. I'm not gonna lie. Alrighty. All right. What Talk of the Town Award should Winter the Brad be nominated for? Whoa. <laughs> um I don't know. Maybe and I don't I don't know really. Say I don't know one more time, bro. Cause I really don't know like a right, most underrated artist. Okay. <laughs> For the people that don't know, where you from? Mitchell's. Where? For me, Mitchell's projects. For me, I'll call it the projects, those, the peas. Where's that at? One, three, eight. Where? In the Bronx. Okay, I don't know. I'm not from the Bronx. It's in the Bronx for me, right before Harlem. Right before, okay. All right, so what's your background? I'm background they have. Like, what are you mixed with? Spanish, American, Puerto Rican? I'm Puerto Rican, <clears throat> Dominican, and black. But for me, I just like to say I'm black because the other two shits is not really racist. So, Okay. And what was it like growing up in the Bronx? Fucking terrible. This is just metal. Okay. So, um, so what made you get into music? Honestly, I was playing around. And then niggas was really jacking it, so I just kept going. What song was everybody jacking? Some bullshit. Shit was dumb metal. But you kept going? Yeah. It was just fun. It was fun at first. I'm not gonna lie, it was fun. And then after that, I just really started taking it like serious. Like, nah, this could be a way for me to go far and get out of here. Okay. And then what inspired the name Winter the Brat? Honestly, my name was Winter Kenzo, but I just want to change it up. So I changed it to Winter the Brat, but that's not for me. It, I feel like it correlates with really how I, I act. People be saying I act like a brat, so for me. So a lot of people have the brat now. Well, a lot of people are getting the term the brat added to their name. Big brat, Asian the brat. I guess what, what makes you stand out being Winter the Brat? I'm just different. I'm not going to. I'm not like none of these bitches. I can't relate to none of these bitches. They can't relate to me. 
All right, but do you do you feel in competition? Mm-mm. Claiming the word brat now because other people got the name? No, not in competition with nobody. Let them bitches say what they want. Okay. All right. So um, so you got so when did the name change? Because you said it was Kenzo first. When did the name change? Uh, I think I had to make a whole new page. Instagram. Mhm. And I just changed it. Like I was already having that as my own. I think I changed my Facebook name to that. And then my Instagram got deleted at 15,000, so I just ended up making a new page mm-hmm. and just changed my shit to Went to the Bride because I was already calling myself that while I was rapping. So. All right, and then everybody was fucking with it? Fucking yeah. with it? People started calling me that. Niggas was calling me Kenzo and shit, but I wasn't jacking that. I'm not going on. It's a lot of Kenzos right now. Too many. Let them bitches hide that. So you feel like it's a good choice changing your name? Yeah. For sure. Okay, so with the music, you start. Then you stop, then you start, then you stop again. So what happened? I don't know. I got to be consistent. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, but I be getting distracted. And that's my fault, honestly. But I know niggas want me to drop more, so that's what I'm doing. And y'all should expect to see more for me, like, this whole month and shit. Okay. So was it, what's the reason you stopping? Was it that um, too much going on? Was it inspired? Why, what was the stopping about? It was really that, like, I wanted to have the right images so, like, I want to look a certain way. Honestly, I don't give a fuck, though, because it's not how I'm looking that's going to get me out. It's my voice and what I'm saying. So that's how I'm going to move from now on. What would, what would your ideal image look like if it was up to you, though? What do you feel like you would change? I just want to be mad, like, mad drippy. But I know the money going to start coming in when I really make it. Like, when I get out of here, everything that I'm saying now is really going it's going to change my future, so then I can really have everything I want. I don't need that now. What I'm doing now is what's going to help me get what I want. Okay. So, like, so when you say drip, you just mean, like, flash it? Would you do, like, the heels, the makeup and stuff? Mm, or? No. <laughs> I want to feel me, be dumb fly, chains, watches, all that. So that was discouraging you from dropping music? Yeah. And, I mean, not everybody that rap now got that. Yo. Nah, shit is really crazy out here. Bitches be on my dick because I don't care. And <laughs> they gonna see. Okay. I mean, but a lot of, not everybody has start rapping is mad up at first anyway. Nah. I'm supposed to make it out with my son Jeff, but I'm not gonna lie, I gotta do it for him. What happened with Jeff? Tell the people who Jeff is. Tell me. I'm not gonna lie, niggas know who Jeff is already. I don't even gotta talk too much. My son Jeff helped me get my name, put me out there for me. <coughs> I really did. I'm not going to lie. Okay, and how you met Jeff? On my blog. So y'all grew up together? That's my man, yeah, for me. Mm-hmm. And where is he at now? I'm not going to lie. My son is booked, but for me, that's why I got to go hard because what we was trying to do together, I got to do by myself now. So I got to go 10 times harder and really get the bride so I can help him too. Okay. And, um... I mean, well, Jeff is locked up now. Does that worry you that, like, your friends is getting locked up and stuff? Yeah. A lot of a lot of artists are going to jail right now, though. I'm not going to lie. That shit is dumb. Like, I don't even care. Like, the cops be on dick, real shit. Like, I'm going to just pray for all my, all the members, free all the steppers, free the Mitch, all that. So what's the plan? How do you plan to, like, avoid, I guess, jailing cops? There's no way to really avoid them. It's just for me. You move tight. Got to move tight regardless. I rap, so I got to I gotta be tight forever. Like, I'm not going I'm not about to be lacking for nobody. I'm not going to be loafing, straggling, nothing. I don't do that. Okay. All right, so I guess you're a girl. So what's moving tight? I mean, like, you're going to be on your dolly shit, certain people in your circle? Like, what does that look like? I'm always by myself. I'm not going to lie. Mm, I got friends and shit for me, but I just be... Chilling. I don't really like to. I don't like that whole, whole group of friends, big ass crowd. That's just dumb metal. I'm good. I'd rather be by myself. Have one or two good friends. Can't trust nobody. I don't. All my friends, all my real friends, is really in jail. So. Uh, and what does a good friend look like to Winter? Like, what's a good friend to you? Somebody who feel me like, tell me when I'm wrong, even when I don't want to hear it. Tell me the truth just all the time. Like, really try to help me and better me as a person, not just say yes to every dumb decision I make and all that other bullshit. Because I know I do dumb shit, but 
my real friends really tell me when I look stupid. Okay. Okay, so you feel like you have? Well, you said all your real friends in jail. Nah, t- females is not you. <laughs> well, we know, so. Feel me, but I'm not going to lie. The members would have told me if I look dumb, I'm not going to lie, but they going right now. I mean, but female-wise, though, I feel like, you know, you say you don't dress up, you don't really get girly, so how is that like? I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to try makeup and none of that other shit. I don't want my face breaking out. I don't care about having my hair done. I really don't. Like, none of that shit really matters to me, like. So what matters to you? What matters to you? I really just want to make money. After I get the money that I want, then I could start doing all this other shit. Like, I don't have to have my hair done every other day. I don't have to have my nails done. I don't have to do nothing. I'm not impressing nobody. I don't give a fuck <laughs> what nobody cares, like, what nobody think. I don't okay. care what nobody feel. Like, shit is metal. Okay. Okay. So you, you like the natural thing? Mm-hmm. So, um, is that, do you think you would keep that going? Like, even with money, you think you would keep going natural? Or do you want to try wigs and stuff? Yeah. I mean, the most I do, I, I don't want to wig. I'm not going to lie. My forehead is mad little. So, I could do, like, a little sewing, something. But I don't need makeup or none of that other extra shit. Like, it's nothing wrong with none of that. But that's just not me. Okay. So, you're not really a girly girl. You're more of a tomboy, I yeah. guess. Okay. All right. So, getting into the music, you and Jeff was, like, a dynamic duo for sure. Mm-hmm. So like um so now you making mu- more music by yourself now, or you gonna find like yeah I don't really got no features, I don't fuck with y'all. No. <laughs> so you know it's no features because you don't fuck with niggas or it's just nah party features in the future, but a lot of people right now I'm just chilling. I gotta make by myself. I gotta show them what I could do by myself. Then I start doing features. Okay. Um anybody been hitting you up for features? Reaching out? Hmm? People been hitting you up for features, reaching out? Yeah, but all that shit is in the works. Okay. Okay. And um, you often go live on social media and things. Often? Low key, kind of. Winter's sometimes. definitely on live sometimes. How do you feel about the whole New York scene? Like, I feel like every artist from New York be going live and stuff like that. Honestly, going live is just like... Well, most of the drill rappers, I want to say. If you go live, you just got to be bored. And you have nothing else to do. Honestly, last time I went live, <laughs> niggas know. I was definitely bored, but I was talking my shit, though. Niggas be on my dick. I don't care. Like, real shit. I'm going to talk my shit regardless. Like I said, I'm real. Like, off camera, on camera, I'm the same person, so... What I say on the internet is really me. Like, that's really me. I don't know what everybody else be doing, but I don't know. Like, if I go on live, it's for a reason. Sometimes I just be bored, though. Like, that's the facts. Everybody be bored. Okay. So, you not going live to start trouble, it kind of just happens? No, no, no. I'm not going to lie. If I go live when I'm bored, it's just because, feel me, like... Talking to your fans? Yeah, I just want to see what's the vibes. Maybe I want to go outside and get high with the members. You don't know, feel me, but... If I go live and I'm fessing somebody up and I put, like, a caption, like, suck my dick or, like, oh, like, I don't know why niggas feel me on it. And then it's going to be something. Because I'm not going on in the Bronx, New York, all that, like, that's what niggas do. Like, I'm going to talk my shit. Everybody going to see all the fans, all the ops, all the randoms, nobody's. They all going to see that. So I'm going to be able to talk my shit. But I don't know what everybody else be doing. Niggas be trying. But I be talking real shit. I'm not even going to be for me. Yeah, do you go. um do you kind of regret doing that sometimes or are you like it's like fuck it it is what it is honestly i don't give a fuck i said what i said everything i say i mean it real shit so i don't apologize nothing like if i said it that means i meant it real shit i say things with like feel me like i really mean it like with my heart like, if i disrespect you i meant that if i if i'm being nice to you i meant that like i'm a genuine person i don't have no reason to cap that's not me so, for the people that's, like, I guess, just tuning into winter, you seem like you got mad ops all of a sudden. So, like, what happened? In the, you can sum it up. You don't got to go too much in detail, but. Niggas be, I'm not going to, I can't fuck with you if you fuck with my ops. I'm going to be honest. If you smoke in my, not even if you smoke in my mans. If you chill with niggas that, that smoking somebody, I really used to chill with, be in a house. I can't fuck with you. Like, that's just not in my blood, real shit. And on top of that, 
Like niggas be doing little funny shit. I don't fuck with that at all. Like I don't jack that nothing. Like I'm not niggas can say anything they want about me. That don't mean nothing to me. Real shit. Like talk talk whatever you want to. You giving me clout. Fuck is you talking about? Like I don't care. Talk about me. Everybody been talking about me. Fuck. Ever since I was young, nigga, before I've been doing this rap shit, niggas been talking about me. I've been relevant. I don't have to do nothing to be talked about. Y'all just gonna keep doing it because y'all love me, and I appreciate that. I love y'all too. Thank you. <laughs> so do you feel like people talk about you because they don't like you, or you think people talk about you because they want to hang out with you? Or, like, why do you think people hate on you so much? People, it's really a mix. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be honest. People be mad because they can't chill with me. People be mad because they can't get with me, like, it be a lot of shit that be really, like, behind the scenes niggas don't know about, like, it's mad bullshit. Like, people really wish they could be friends with me. This bitch is mad because I don't want to chill with them. It's, it's mad weird shit. I'm not obligated to fuck with nobody. Fuck y'all. Suck my dick. What the fuck? Who is y'all to me? Like, this is the shit I be talking about. Like, I'm not, I'm not obligated to chill with nobody. I don't like nobody. I really like being by myself because nobody could talk. I talk to myself when I have problems. So, me, like, I don't care about y'all. Real mm-hmm. shit, like, bitches be day room, niggas be day room, niggas be chatting, niggas be fans. It's whatever. So, is the fame more so frustrating or, like, all the attention? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you working on it still? I don't like attention like that. I've never been that type of person. Actually, I'm the type of person that starts something, and then, like, like when it starts getting heavy, like, I'm like, nah, like, I don't want to do this, but it be fun, though. Like, I like to have interesting things going on in my life like <laughs> people talking about me and all this other crazy shit and me talking my shit and really like like people trying to embarrass me on the internet like it's really mad funny to me like i really sit in my house and laugh like at all the videos all this other shit people talk about me it's entertaining like y'all keeping me alive thank you like y'all keeping me relevant if people stop talking about me i'm gonna just be a whack bitch but that can never be me so okay so you kind of like, fuck it, it is what it is at this point. Yeah, fuck mm-hmm. it. People talk about me. Honestly, I don't like bad attention, but for me, the views is going to be the views, and the views is going to make the money, so. Do you feel like that's kind of what comes with, like, New York drill? Like, they want y'all in drama? New York is full of drama. Shit is dumb metal. When I get lit, when I really make it out and all this shit is for me over with, I'm leaving. I don't want to be in New York. It's not here for you. This is a place where you grow up and you leave. You you get, for me, you get higher than this. The energy around here is not it at all. It's a whole bunch of violence and bullshit. And for me, violence is sometimes needed, but honestly, wow. not when you're losing your friends. Violence is not always needed. You guys can talk through it. <laughs> I can't talk through shit. I'm going to kill y'all bitches. <laughs> wow. All righty then. So... <laughs> Move along. All right, so people, I mean, so you, I mean, you see what the people saying. Do you, like, read comments? Do you try not to read comments? What are your thoughts on, like, comments? I'm not going to lie. I don't read comments. Only because, not because it hurts my feelings or anything, or, like, I'm trying to avoid conflict. But really, I truly, honestly believe in my heart that, um, like, social media and all that other bullshit is not real. Y'all don't know me in real life. It's nothing y'all could say to hurt me. Y'all could believe whatever y'all want to believe. Okay. Y'all don't know me. I don't. It really can't affect me. Like that's like somebody saying, "Oh, fuck your mother." You don't know my mother. I don't. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like so, it's like me. irrelevant because you don't know. Wow, irrelevant. I don't. I don't care about none of that shit. Comments. Comments is y'all just giving me views. Like I don't. I don't even watch nobody. Everybody watches me, so I really feel like. And y'all got me feeling like this shit. Y'all always talk about me. So you ignore comments and stuff like that. I mean, so, but some of the stuff people were saying, I guess you was fucking with this side and then you moved to that side. Yeah, I'm not what, gonna. What's your response to that? Or do you have a response? Or you just don't care? Or those with your friends Niggas at one was point? Niggas cool. Niggas was all cool. Beef started happening. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of shit don't have to do with me personally. Yeah. But, like, Beef is beef, it's sides is sides. You got to pick a side. You can't be on both. So me f- being from the Mitch, like, that's the side I'm going to pick regardless. If they don't fuck with me, if they fuck with me, I don't care. That's where I'm from. That's where I grew up at. But mm-hmm. me chilling on other blocks and other shit, like, I never chill somewhere I'm not good at. Like, for me, I'm, I'm mm-hmm. good anywhere I chill at. 
Yeah. So me being over there or fucking with, you know, the niggas that's, you know, ops now, shit don't really matter to me because niggas was all cool when I was over there. Like, okay. these all causal, niggas is gang, niggas telling me they jacking my music, real shit. Like, niggas want me to be a part of what they got going on, trying to affiliate me with their gang. Like, it's a lot of whole shit, like, a lot of real shit going on. Like, I'm not even going to talk on that, though. I mean, it was more so about that. It was more so about, like, you know, why'd you distance yourself? Or, like, do you feel like girls kind of get wrapped up into the boy drama? Like, you know, you're a female artist, so sometimes that'd be boy stuff. So. Definitely do be boy stuff. I'm not going to lie. I don't know. It's not even that I wrap myself up around this. I'm from the Mitch. Like, that's <laughs> forever going to be that, like. But real shit, niggas gonna niggas gonna be on my dick regardless because of where I'm from. They don't like where I'm from. They don't like me. If you talking about me, I'ma defend myself. I never been the type of person to be quiet. Yeah, I never been quiet. I'ma talk my shit regardless because I'm I know I be talking real shit. I've never lied ever. I don't. I can't even think of a lie. Everything mm-hmm. I say is real. Okay. Like real shit. All right. So do you feel like it's hard being a female artist? Definitely. Being that all the guys are into it and stuff. Definitely because. Niggas gonna come at you. Niggas gonna come for your character. It's just how you react and how you um deal with the situation. Honestly, nigga, every time somebody come for my character, I, I really don't. Sometimes I black out for me, but I really don't care that much because you can't tell me something about myself when I'm the only person living in my body. Okay. okay. That's a good mind to tap. All right, so, I mean, with the guys, we know it's beef. But then it comes guys. So, like, what's the dating like? life like? What? Like you. Like, what type of guys are you into? Like, what's your type? Like, what's... Because I seen you did a um, YouTube video. It was, like, five guys try to get winter. <laughs> so, like, so ideally, if somebody wanted to shoot their shot, what's the... I like tall niggas. Okay. I like tall niggas because I'm tall. I'm like five seven, five eight. Okay. So I can't fuck with no little nigga. I like skinny niggas. Okay. Real skinny, real tall. Okay. Real cute for me. <laughs> okay. So rapper, no rapper, you know what in my industry? Like what? I don't want to talk to nobody who's not on the same level as me. I'm not going to lie. Like. Uh, I don't know. I talk to anybody who's really for me. I'm not going to talk to anybody, but for me, like, if I'm really feeling you, then I'll talk to you. But I don't be feeling niggas like that, to be honest. So maybe niggas in the industry be wild. Okay. It be what it be what they be doing. I be making bitches think they... So, like, flexing and, and shit? Yeah, but when you really meet them in person, it be a different, it be a different thing, like... <laughs> Okay. Should be metal. I'm not going to Okay. But um, like I said, you did the YouTube video when they was trying to get you. But you also did the videos when they do the pranks and stuff. Do you feel like when they do the whole, oh, your song is whack, you feel like they be doing too much when the pranksters do that? Nah. I'm not going to lie. I know it's a joke or whatever. But I should be like, nah, like, low-key be like, you trying to be funny? But then, all the time, I was like, it's a video, but you that eyes trying to be funny. Like, you got to put all that shit to the side. Like, I'm going to be giving a fuck. I be having a laugh. I laugh at everything. Like, everything is really funny. Life is really funny. So you feel like they don't be too disrespectful when you do that? They be disrespectful. Don't get me wrong, but. So how do you feel? How do you deal with that? I don't really care. It's all for the views. It's all for the viewers. Like, that's what they like to see. Feel me? If I ever feel like a nigga getting too far, I'm going to talk my shit, but. So far, ain't nobody really pushed my buttons like that. I've been chilling okay. on my feelings. Okay, okay. And you got the song, Hottest Youngin. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I feel like that shit is metal. What? I've been way better than that. I've been getting People way better. People like that song, though. I've been getting way better. I've been getting way better. It's more shit to hear. Feel me? It's a lot more heavier shit. I know they like that. I know they like, feel me? What I be saying? They're going to have to bump that soon. New track coming out next week. Okay, but hottest youngin' though, what does that mean? Like, define hottest youngin'. I'm not young. I'm not gonna lie. Everybody keep asking my age. <laughs> I'm just clear this up. <laughs> I just turned 16 years old. Feel me? This year. 
So everybody thinking I'm older. I don't care. This is my age. What are y'all going to do about it? Y'all still on my dick. Anyways, but regardless for me, I'm not going to lie. I've been getting talked about since I was at least 10. I didn't even fucking know what was going on. Didn't even know nothing about gangs, nothing. Niggas been talking about me. Like, I just been relevant. I'm going to forever be relevant because of the person I am, my personality, how I look, how how I act in person. Like, people just love to talk about me. So, tell me. Okay. So, you feel like how this young is more like who everybody talking about type shit? Yeah, like, I've been, since young, I've been doing this this shit, like, being a, the, the trending topic. Like, <laughs> regardless, people's going to talk about me. I know they're going to talk about me. People love to know what's going on in my life, and people love to be involved in what's mm-hmm. going on in my life. And they just can't, so they be tight. But definitely the hottest youngin'. I was going to be the hottest youngin'. Should okay. Okay. So we're going to play a game. I'm going to name three artists. And you tell me who's the hottest youngin out of the group. Oh, hold on. They don't have to be the youngest one, but, you know, based on what you said, who you know is the hot one, the lit right. one. All right, so Young Thug, Young and May, Young Ka. Who's the hottest youngin out of them three? Young Ka. Okay. You don't have to pick them because they're young. I'm just saying. Nah, but he's dead fire. I fuck with his music. I'm not going to lie. Okay. All right, next one. Lil Baby, Lil Wayne, Lil TJ. Who the hottest youngin? Lil Baby. Okay. Because he just... I bump his shit. I'm not gonna lie. He be having me for me. Like, I'm not gonna lie. He be getting me in my mood. Like, I be like, damn. Like, he's face on his shit. Like... Okay. <laughs> All right. Next one. Kodak Black, 21 Savage, YNW Melly. Which one's the hottest youngin? It's... Kodak. Okay. Because he was spicy. He low-key spicy. I'm not going to say Kodak because I'm not going to lie. Melly in jail, so he not really posting. And um, who you said? 21 Savage. 20 Savage. Um, I don't really bump him like that no more. Like, he fire or whatever, but I was bumping at 2018 maybe. Um, yeah. Who I just said? Kodak. Kodak. I'm not going to yeah. lie. Kodak be posting. He, the shit he be, he be dropping, it be like right on TikTok. I be hearing that shit be low-key catchy. Yeah. So Kodak and Twenty One beefing right now because Twenty One's Jack and he could beat Kodak in the verses. Um, I don't know. I don't know. You think Kodak would beat him? I was fake listening to Kodak. I'm gonna keep it a stack back then. But for me, I think I never was really bumping Twenty One. Okay. It's more Kodak. Okay. That's fair. All right. Next one. Rod Wave, Rowdy Rich, and be a young boy. Who the hottest younger? Definitely young boy. Yeah. Young boy is really goaded. I'm not gonna lie. He's you should have named him first. <laughs> I'm letting you pick, you know? Rod Wave be doing his thing. Nah, Rod Wave is fine with that whole um the the melodic mm, pain. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> yeah, that shit that was fire. I'm not gonna yeah. lie, that was fake twenty eighteen though, like. But um Young boy, he just keep coming out. He keep coming out with more and more shit, like different vibes. All his shit is vibey. Like, I could really bump to that. Some shit I really be feeling like. He be making me feel shit I never went through. Mm-hmm. Like, his shit, I'm feeling that. Like, yeah, right away. Yeah, but you also picked young boy. You think young boy does that too? Both of them. Both of them? But who the hottest youngin though? Young boy. Okay. All right. I just asked him. All right. Um, okay, we're going to go into some girls now. Okay. Glorilla. Lotto, Megan Thee Stallion. Who the hottest youngin? I'm gonna say Glorilla because she fake. Um, Glorilla, she fake. Like she fake. She's going up right now. Like mm-hmm. she's lit. Like she's making moves. Like she's doing different shit now. Lotto, I would have picked up because I'm not going out from the rap game. Like she fake, I fake been watching her. Like I'm not gonna lie, like I'm not gonna say I'm a fan of anything, but real shit. Like when I was watching, when I was watching the rap game, I was seeing her rap and shit. Like that was fire. Like I used to listen to her songs when she was mad young, and I was wow little. Like mm-hmm. real shit, I been jacking Lotto, but Glorilla is really making it hot right now, so I'm jacking her right now. Okay, all right, and then we're gonna take it a little to New York. So out of these three. <laughs> Didi Osama, Booba the Savage, Sugar Hill D Dot. Who the hottest youngin out of those three? Nah. 
Boo with a boo with a Libra. I'm not gonna lie. That's gang. So, you know, that's that's big out. Like okay. he know he the Libra. So DD making it not. Nah. Yeah, D making it high. I'm not gonna lie. DD making it hot. He fake. He been dropping some fire shit to keep it a stack. Like I'm not gonna. I've been bumping that shit with him and that other nigga that BBG nigga. Mm-hmm. But um, Booba. I'm gonna go with Booba because Booba fake young. Like he around my age. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, DD yeah. too. But Booba is the Libra. So for me, I'm a Libra too. So I'm gonna have to pick my fellow Libra. Okay. All right. Yeah. Booba just turned 16 too. Hmm. He just turned 16 too. I think. Yeah. I'm not gonna. Lie. Yeah. So that's my son for me. Big L. So how do you feel about like the whole New York scene? Do you feel like they be like showing love out here? You feel like it's more competition? What do you What do you think? Certain people will show you love out here, and it really just depends on how they feel. And I'm not going on because it be love and hate all over. Mm-hmm. To be honest, you don't know what you gonna get. Like honestly, people will love you in your face, and then mm-hmm. go ahead and just. Like, took down on you, like, behind your back. New York is full of fake people. Like, it's rare that you really find someone genuine. So, mm-hmm. like, I really don't know. I don't know how to really answer that question. Like, it's it's really hard to find genuine people in uh-huh. New York. Everything in New York has to do with social media and how you look. It's a whole bunch of people fronting for the media. I don't like that. Like, okay. So you like people to be authentic, raw, how Definitely. they are type shit. The same way that you see me here talking is really how I act in real life. I never fronted for the camera. That's never the type of person I, I've been on live. If I talk my shit, I'm, that's really how I'm feeling, and that's really what I'm gonna, gonna do. And feel me? Okay. I, I don't like I don't like none of that weird shit. Like if I know you in real life and we got beef now, like and you acting tough, that's wild date room because I really <laughs> know you in real life. You're not like that, like. Real shit, bitches out here saying they know me and I'm not like that. Come on. Like, I didn't, I never talk crazy to you, but you just, you you know I'm not scared to talk crazy to you. Like, bitches right. don't be on nothing. Real shit. But even, like, girls in the, like, industry, do you feel like girls in the industry be showing you love? Nah. Definitely not. I'm not going to lie. Before, um, before I lose my old page, me and Ice Spice was texting a little bit. We were supposed to get on the, on the song. I don't know about that though. That shit, I was that was my wild long ago. Like that's old. Oh, shit. that's good. She reached out. Okay. Yeah, yeah I fuck with her music and shit. Like for me, niggas is so cool, cool. But um, nah. I don't really Nobody fuck with else really. Of, I don't really fuck with none of the female female rappers like that. I'm cool by myself. Some of them, um, actually, my son Zephy Lee. Okay. That's that's my that's my man. I'm not gonna I fuck with her music. She's dumb fire for me. Uh-huh. We cool in real life, but. Besides that, I don't really know nobody, like, nah, I'm really cool with, cool with, bitches be fucking with the ops. Okay. It don't really be actual beef, but it just be like, we can't do nothing. Okay. Do you think it's like that because, like, the girls now kind of talk all that freak shit? I feel like a lot of girls nowadays try to sexualize themselves and talk about pussy and this and that. They can do that. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you don't do that too much, though. I don't do that because only because I don't like to talk about my body. Like, I'm not the type of person. Like, I really don't like attention. Okay. I really don't like attention. I don't want a thousand niggas on my body. That's not me. Like, genuinely, I really like to be like. I'd rather be loved by one person. I'd rather have one genuine friend. Like, I don't need a whole group of people. That's very overwhelming. Like for me. So like. So what are your thoughts on girls that I guess do talk about like sex and shit? Do you think they're intimidated to collab with you because you don't talk about sex? I don't know what they intimidated to do. I don't I'm not gonna I don't know what these bitches be on, like real shit. Like I'ma talk my shit regardless. Like I said in that last track. I'm not gonna like I say what I want. That last track started a lot of problems. Yo, like I'm not gonna hold you. Nobody's ever gonna stop me from talking my shit. If you sucking my dick, I'm gonna talk my shit. Real shit. Like, I don't care. Like, you say whatever you want about me. You not, nobody's gonna ever, 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 ever gonna do anything to me. Like, nobody put their hands on me. Nobody, nobody spent, like, bitches spin and they be in cabs and fucking taxis. You can't right, be we serious. We don't know what, allegedly. We don't know, but okay. Yeah, I don't know, but feel me, I'm just saying. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna talk my shit regardless, because niggas be saying So anything. what does talking your shit look like? Like, what is it? Because, you know, like, what you be talking? Like, yeah. what does it sound like? Like, what is, um, explain to us. If someone, right now? 
you gonna freestyle for us? No, just- <laughs> But if someone never heard your music and you saying you talking shit, what does that look like? What does that sound like? It's me, you feel me? Fussing niggas up, talking real shit. If I really wanted to get on, on real, real type of like exposing type timing, I really would. But honestly, I don't even really care to expose niggas' business like that. For me, that's that's whack. I don't want nobody telling my business regardless. So. I'm not going to expose niggas' business, even though niggas don't got information on me really like that. Like, niggas can't really say that much about what's to the bride, but, for me. Okay. All right. But on the music tip, though, is there any other artists, any artists you want to collab with or, like, connect with or? Cause of, mm. I know you say you're going to dip out of New York. Where would you go? Like, what area? Probably fucking Connecticut or something. Just somewhere quiet. I'm tired of Connecticut? I'm tired of it. I'm, I don't want the noise. I'm going to go to sleep peacefully. <laughs> Real shit. Matter of fact, not even, probably not even Connecticut. Because when I went to Connecticut, it was wild crickets. I'm not even with that. I'm not used to that. So I need to be somewhere real quiet. Maybe on the, on the highest floor in the building. I don't know. But you would leave New York, though, for sure? Definitely. I got to get the fuck out of here. It's nothing here. It's nothing here at all, and I cannot stress that enough. Maybe if I actually went to two years ago, I would have said, nah, I'm staying here. What the fuck? I don't want to leave my friends. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I need to get out of here. Seriously, quick. Like, it's terrible. It's, it's niggas I know that's losing their life. It's niggas I know that's my, my friends are going to jail. My friends are dying, like. Let me, let me not even say it like that, because I'm not going to... We put on, like, nobody's really dying like that. Y'all niggas okay. is dying. Okay, like, all me, right. Let me just say it like that, like, real shit, like, a lot of shit is going on, and a lot of shit is happening that was never supposed to happen, so that's just pushing me to keep going and really, like, break the cycle. Okay, so where do, where do we see Winter the Brat in five years? What does that look like? Five years now. Five years later, I mean. Rich as shit. Okay. Rich as shit, mad money. My money, all of family, kids, no? Mm, maybe five, kids. Five years? Five years, you'll be what, 22? I don't know. I, I want kids for, like, to leave my little mark on the world. Regardless without kids and I, I'm going to leave my mark on the world. I know it's people out here really, who really fuck with me, but um, definitely in the future, I want to be, I want to be rich. I want to be chilling i want to have everything i, I need i want to be carefree i want to i don't want to have like that's a lot of shit i want i'm not gonna lie. That's okay. a lot of shit i i'm shooting for okay move your family out the hood type shit definitely all i have my mom with her own crib have my little brother with his own crib both of my little brothers okay so five years from now for sure Mm-hmm. My grandma have her great not stressing out the hood don't want her chilling with her with them drunk ass old people my grandma was never one of those so okay. for me like we need to get the <laughs> fuck out the hood like this shit is dumb whack okay 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 damn you making new york sound terrible it, it's whack maybe not queens i don't know about queens brooklyn fucking whatever whatever else i'm from the bronx but in the bronx the is bronx like- is really like it's not a scary place if you if you was from here but it's really whack like I had to really grow up and really realize it's really not out here for me. It's no okay. opportunities. It's opportunities, but it's just like a lot of shit that come with it. Like it's too much sometimes. Not everybody can handle that. I'm having trouble handling everything that's going on. All this other weird type of attention is good attention, bad attention. Yeah, people would say like Bronx is lit right now. Bronx going up. Everybody going up over there. You feel yeah. like it's just a lot of drama that come with that though. The Bronx is going up for that specific reason. It's drama. We like to talk a lot of shit. Facebook, if I would have went up on the Facebook days, it would have been crazy, but I'm not going to. Niggas really just get heavy over here. It's weird. Okay. So, you have a team? You working on a team? What does that look like? I'm just chilling. I'm not going to. Okay. doing me. Okay. So, we should definitely see more music, more tunes. Definitely. I got so much shit to say. So much shit to get off my fucking chest. Like, it's crazy. 
But I got to pick and choose what I want to say because I'm not going to lie. I'm not about to get heavy or no cop shit. But real shit, niggas going niggas gonna to feel like when I really start talking that real shit, I know the real about a lot of niggas. They don't want me to start talking. Okay. Your song, All of the Lights, is going up. Everybody saying that, like that's their favorite song. I dropped that for the for me just for the just for the controversy. I knew that people would start mad shit. What the fuck? Took my shit. So the song was for the controversy, crazy. not the live, or the live just happened because of the controversy. Like what happened? The live happened. I went live. Matter of fact, let me say it like this. I dropped the vid. I wanted to drop the vid because I haven't dropped the mad long. I was feeding in the drop. I was like, feel me, I gotta go. Like I gotta get it started. Bitches is dropping. I need to drop. I. I was one of the first, like, to really start, really, like, one of the first females to really start doing this shit, like, real shit. And sure. I was really joking around, so I'm taking this shit serious. Like, I'm going hard. Like, I'm about to start going dumb hard. Like, they about to see. I, I really honestly feel like nobody's talking real shit like how I am. Nobody's talking about real experiences. Nobody's talking about nothing. Bitches never been on no drill in their life. Real shit. Nobody could, like, y'all talking about shit y'all mans did. Feel me? Maybe I mentioned some one or two. Feel me? I don't, I don't, I don't, that's bullshit, but. Bro, shit, y'all not doing nothing, like. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I really honestly feel like. Okay. Know. Do you regret not being consistent? Yeah, like, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> all I said, that's what I'm trying to say, like, I said was dumb metal, like, I don't know why I was doing all that. I let bitches, for me, get ahead of me. I let bitches go past me. I wasn't dropping for months. That's, that's not even me. It's a lot of shit going on, though, that honestly distracted me, but I know I really got what it takes to make it. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. And honestly, really feel like the shit that I be seeing, the real shit that I be seeing, bitches can't even really talk like that. Okay. So, it don't even. Okay. People say, like, you know, Drill was about to get banned and stuff like that. People, well, they tried to ban Drill. But, you know, Drill is still a thing. Do you, you got other shit besides Drill? What's your thoughts on, like, them trying to ban Drill music? I don't give a fuck if they, dream, if they ban um, <laughs> Drill music. Let them do that. You don't feel like you're a drill artist? Maybe, but I feel like I could do way more. Like, when I was a little ass girl, fucking eight years old, mm. I was in my room, my little ass room, writing on my fucking little ass notebook, <laughs> writing little songy songs. Not little, I was never no rapper. Like, I could, I could probably free, freestyle a little song faster than I could freestyle a, 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 um, a, rap. a rap. Like, okay. I just don't sing because I never really tried. I never tried been more of a ag- aggressive type, you know, artist because okay. that's what that's what make it. That's what people like. And that's what I could do. If I could do it, I'm going to do it. Real shit. Okay. Do you feel like the music is more therapeutic to you? Or you kind of, the music is relieving stress? Or you make your songs when you're upset? Like, what gets you in the mood to go to the stool? When people diss me, I like to get in the stool. When people talk about me, I like to get in the stool. And when I get in the stool, you usually do numbers when I post a song. So, yeah, I just be helping my career, and I really, like, really thank y'all for that. I'm not going to have all the bad attention. I feed off of that. Like, I feel like if you say something that I don't like or you say something that didn't make no sense, I'm going to find a way to make that shit rhyme, and I'm mm-hmm. going to put it in the song, and you're going to look dumb. So, <laughs> tell me. So, real strategic when it comes to making music. Hmm. Strategic, like yeah. strategy when making. Yeah, a song. definitely. Uh, say something about me. I want you to say something about me, just so I can say something back. I swear, my comeback is gonna be way better. Like, I know shit about y'all. I'm not gonna. I know shit about a lot of people. This is the Bronx. Shit gets around, like, and that's what I hate about it too. That's why I got the fuck out of here. Shit okay. get around too quick. All right, but um, so. New music on the way. Definitely. We got trillers that you posted that we never saw vids to. Honestly, most what, of my um Like, what do you want to tell your fans, people that fuck with your music, people that are not all the haters all the time, the fans that actually bump your music? What do you want to say to them? I'm sorry for not dropping. <laughs> <laughs> I think, like, I don't know. Though. I really can't. I can't be dropping all the time. Honestly, not, let me not even say that. I don't be confident in all of my songs. Okay. Sometimes I be feeling like I should have changed this or I should have changed that. 
But um, I just got to post and see how people react and see what they like and then go off that instead of judging myself first before the fans react. So the message you want to tell your fans are, you say you don't be confident in music. Do you feel like you overcritical? Definitely. Um, when I make a song, probably this is that shit about fine at fucking times. Like, Before you drop it. Yo, like, I can't. I have to listen to my voice. Even when I drop the damn video, I got to watch the video about 100 times. Like, I can't. I don't know. Like, I have to see if everything is perfect. Have to hear my vocals. If if I'm recording a song and I finish, let's say I finish the whole song. Boom, I'm telling her, the, the, the engineer, let me do my vocals. I mean, fucking vocals. Let me do my um eyelids. Uh-huh. Let me do my eyelids. I might fuck around and say, let me do the whole beginning f- again. Just because I want to fix that. Like, I'm so, like, I, everything has to be perfect how I want it to. Okay. My voice has to sound the same every line, like, same tone every line. I got to get it right. If it's not right, I'm going to keep fixing it, and it's going to be perfect. Okay. So that's part of the reason why you wasn't dropping like that. Bro, shit. All right. But the fans that want to see your music and want to hear more shit. They should expect to see more. As I'm definitely going to start dropping Back to back to back to back because I'm not going to, I realized I missed a couple opportunities that I couldn't have bringing for me, bringing the wrong energy, and on top of that, like, it's just shit that I could have did that would have had me already going out all this bullshit away from all the drama, but I just decided not to do it because I was focused on the wrong things, and that, that's really bad, I'm not going to lie, but mm-hmm. right now I'm realizing that. If I really want to do music, that's what I should focus on. And that's what I should really be heavy on and really just keep doing. If I want to get out the hood, like, I shouldn't be focused on nobody else. Like I said, I don't give a fuck about what nobody else say. It's all about what I'm doing. The fans going to like it regardless. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. All right. Any release date to some music? Maybe a project on the way? Or not yet? More singles? Nah, no, no release date. I don't know. I can't tell y'all nothing specific, but... Definitely expect some more new music, though. Mm-hmm. I'm making new music. I don't care about none of that holding shit, seeing which track is better. Every track I'm recording, I'm dropping. I'm just all fire. Y'all all going to be jacking them. For me, mm-hmm. I know I'm talking my shit regardless. If if I have talent, y'all going to jack it, and what y'all always do. So I'm going to just keep dropping music. Okay. All right, so tell people where to find you, where to find the music. How can they tune in? Instagram. Winter with two R's, D A, Bright underscore. That's my Instagram. YouTube should be Winter the Bright. Y'all gotta follow that. I'm not gonna. Y'all gotta subscribe. Y'all bugging out so I can post on my page. Yeah, you keep dropping on raps and hustles. Where are we supposed to go? Raps and hustles, fake help me. You know, I'm not gonna. I fuck with them. I fuck with him. For me, even though you know, I know he making bread off the. For me, I fuck with him. No, he gave me my clout and shit. But. I soon start posting on my own page so I could get my own following and all that. And maybe get, feel me? That's all in the works, though. That's definitely what I'm suing for. That's what I'm trying to go for. Okay, so Instagram, YouTube, that's where they could tune in at? Um, Anything else? I don't think I have Snapchat like that. I'm not going to. I don't know my <laughs> Snapchat. Um, what's any? Uh, TikTok. Should be once a candle. Some shit. Slug me up. Y'all going to find me. Um. All right, and that's the wrap.